A family of three is now homeless after fire destroyed their home and damaged another at White Hill, St. Andrew. Homeowner Keisha Tyson told reporters no one was home at the time of the blaze. Everything's gone. Yeah, everything. So, any idea who you can reach out to, family members, anything like that right now? Not, not at the moment. Then can't kind of money. If, if you lost, if you like, I'll be here then. Like, just everything that's happening around me and I'm really a part of it. Like, I catch myself here or I really like grab the fact of what really know happened here, that kind of thing. I lost the words. Okay. And I don't normally lost the words, so. Mm -hmm. I, I, can't, I can't get explained. That's not true. I can't, get, I can't explain how I'm feeling. MP for St. Andrew, Dr. Romel Springer, was on the scene. He said work is already underway to provide support to the affected families. Yes, I've spoken to um, persons from both households. Uh, on my way here, I reached out to Minister Humphrey, and he indicated to me that they have already started the process of um, putting resources in place to ensure that these persons are, are housed this afternoon. Additionally, I've reached out to a charity that has indicated to me that they can also provide um, the, the, the victims with some clothing, clothing items, uh, household items, and stuff like that, as soon as they're, they're settled, of course. So we're working on getting them some accommodations for tonight because obviously one house has been uh, totally destroyed and the other one seems to be extensively destroyed. So. They're definitely going to need some place to stay this afternoon. Okay.